Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Shovel, and I am here in Minecraft on the server. And I figured I could do another Let's Play episode again, because I haven't done one in a little bit. And the reason I haven't done one in a little bit is because there was a little bit of server problems with the old people that were hosting our server not uh, able to do it anymore, so we do have a new uh, server host. I will put all the information in there. They do... Uh, a lot of really good server hosting, and I'm excited to be on with them because it's really good connection, everything's very smooth. So let's get started. And today, I haven't really had a plan set out for what I wanted to do today, so I thought maybe what would be the best thing to do would be just go around and kind of explore this area that I have a little bit and maybe pick a spot to actually build my house in. Because I talked about everything that I kind of wanted to do, but I didn't really set out a place for where I wanted to do it, and I looked around a little bit, and I did some resource gathering off camera, but for the most part, I haven't really picked like a spot that I'd like to build in yet. So I think that's what I'd like to do, and for me in Minecraft, I can always kind of change the area a little bit, add uh, like lakes or things like that, but a lot of times, an area will just kind of strike me, and I'll just see it, and I'll think, you know what, this is where I need to build. So, that's what I'd like to do, and I'd like to try to find that area. A lot of times I kind of find places that I'm I'm happy with, but I'm not super excited about, and as you can see, there's a lot more people on now. The server's getting a little bit, a little bit more full, and I think it's getting dark already. But, I will go through here and see if I can find anywhere. And today is actually a pretty exciting day just for me because uh, the game Prototype 2 is now out for PC. And I know it's been out for a while on consoles, but as you know, I'm not a big console person. And so I've been waiting for it to come out on PC, and it came out like three months later. And I think this is actually an island here. I don't believe this is like just part of the mainland. I think this might just be a little island. And that's okay, though. I've got plenty of room here. I can see other land in other places. But, as I was saying, Prototype 2 is out. Now, I was thinking about maybe doing a Let's Play of it and go through it, but my computer is not by... Uh... Okay. I've found something. I don't know what this is. That's kind of distracting. There's something over here. I'm going to guess that I found somebody else's house, but I don't know if I'm supposed to be filming this right now, so I'm just going to I'm just going to leave that and keep moving. Maybe we'll explore it in a different day when I find out what exactly that is, but for now we're just going to leave that. But so as I was saying, I would like to do a let's play of it because I absolutely love Prototype 1, but oh, this is actually a nice spot. But I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to because my computer is definitely not uh, an amazing computer. I don't really tend to have really smooth games and a lot of things. I always have to kind of turn down the graphics settings, and my computer is pretty old. I think it was built about three, maybe four years ago, and back then it was about a year old as it was, so I've never had a really amazing PC. But Oh, this is a very nice area, actually. I could totally picture my giant tree kind of sitting in the middle, like, right here. Um, and I would go around and kind of kill all these animals and that to get some food, but I kind of want to start a farm with them later, and so I want to kind of leave them for now, and maybe get them and breed them and create a bit of a farm. I'll probably make a little island and then just fence it off. So as I was saying, I'm kind of a little bit tempted to do a Let's Play of it, but I think it's probably going to be a little bit choppy if I do that, so... If it is, then I will definitely not do a Let's Play of it, because I'm not going to do something that's going to be really low quality. I want to kind of keep everything on my channel of better quality, at least, or as good quality as I can get it. And I will be looking into a better computer eventually, but for the time being, it's it's kind of going to be what it is, because new computers are very expensive, so it will be something I'll be looking for, but it probably won't be something in the near future. So, I'll take a look at that. If anyone's interested in it, then I will uh, definitely try it out. But if it doesn't look very good, I'll probably just let you guys know in a future video and say that there won't be any coming. And But I do hope it does work out. And we're already back here, so this is definitely an island. 
but I'm very excited for Prototype 2 because when I played Prototype 1, I bought it on like a Steam sale, I think, and I just absolutely loved the game. It was amazing. It was probably my favorite like single player game for a very, very long time. And I haven't played too many like just straight up single player games. Some really good ones that I played were Skyrim. The prototype series is probably one of my favorite. I love the dynamics of like the movement and that. It's really crazy how you jump from building to building in that. It's definitely one of my favorite games that I've ever played. And and I think one of the only games that has ever kind of replaced it for me was a game that I kind of just tried out out of nowhere. I got it after I finished university for the year, and it was Mass Effect 3. And the game itself was absolutely amazing. I'd say it was probably, to date, my favorite uh, just gameplay in general. So I would say that that's probably my favorite single-player game that I've ever done. The multiplayer on it was pretty fun, but uh, for the most part it was definitely the single-player that attracted me. And I'd never played a Mass Effect game before that, and until then I didn't really know about like the storyline and that, so I kind of just bought Mass Effect 3, and if you haven't played it, it's just a really amazing game. It covers so many different things. I thought it was just going to be like a normal first-person shooter, but it's not. It's kind of like over the shoulder, I guess, would be a good way of describing it. But it's a really interesting game. You get like companions and that, and that they stay with you, and you get to kind of like pick your team, and it was definitely probably one of the most fun games that I had ever played. And I'm going to be moving over to take a look at this island real quick. But it was probably one of the most amazing games that I've ever played. I know the ending was a little bit disappointing, but for me, I didn't really mind because the game itself was so much fun. I just truly, truly enjoyed it, and I liked pretty much everything about it. And for pretty much all games that I've ever played, like Skyrim was a good single-player game, Prototype... Uh, I'm hoping Prototype 2 lives up to the original Prototype game standards, and as well as, hopefully, um, well, I'm actually, I don't know if there's going to be any more Mass Effect games. Uh, the ending kind of suggests that there wouldn't be. I haven't really followed it very much, but I sure hope that there is, because it was such a good game, and I enjoyed it so much. But... The prototype game I am definitely very excited for. If there's any lag, that's probably because it is installing right now, actually, as I'm playing this. So it's probably going to take forever while I'm recording because it just kind of slows down my computer a little bit. But I'm actually looking at this island right now and I'm thinking that this is going to be a great place to gather the wood for my giant tree that I want to build because then I'm not going to be really wrecking the landscape very much. And I can still have, like, all this wood here and I won't have to make, like, some ridiculous tree farm, but I kind of don't want to get lost yet, so I think I will probably just head back, and overall, I'm really excited to actually start building now that the server's going to be up consistently. Uh, I should have no real problems with uh, recording and doing episodes and that, so I am pretty excited to do that a little bit more actively, I guess, and Overall, it's been it's been a pretty good week, actually. I got a lot of subscribers. I actually had a day that was kind of like my record-breaking day. I got over 50 subscribers in a day, and that was just an amazing day for me. I felt so good at the end of it. I felt like, you know, my channel's really taking off. I've got over 350 subscribers at the time of recording this. I may even be over 360. But the, I think the channel's progressing really nicely, and I hope that this series takes off. The first episode got quite a bit of views, so I even had some people requesting the next part, so I'm going to obviously be bringing that now. And I'm not really sure how much I want to do exactly on this server right now, because as I'm sure all Minecraft players know, 1.3 is coming out decently soon. And when it comes out, uh, I'm going to have to make it, or the server itself is going to have to make a decision through all the people on whether or not we want to restart the server or not. If the server gets restarted, then obviously I'm going to lose all my progress, but no matter what, I want to find a dungeon. Or, rather, a jungle. This looks like this... Oh, I was kind of hoping to find a, a uh, dungeon down here. And this actually does look pretty promising, but uh, I'm not really going to do a caving episode because... 
I know last time uh, my colors were a little bit off because I had to break and everything, so I'll try to stay up uh, on the main ground in the sunlight so that I can get my good contrasts going in that and I don't have to adjust the brightness too, too much. But I have to really decide whether or not I want to do too, too much on the server right now because if it does get erased and we have to change everything, then it's going to be kind of sad if I have a nice big tree already built and the house inside it started. So I have to really decide whether or not I want to put a ton of work in. I don't really want to, if this makes sense, just put in stuff that I would uh, be bothered with losing. I want to make sure that whatever I do, I don't mind losing. So I might just do some resource gathering. Uh, the episodes might be a little bit slow to come out for the first little bit until I find out exactly what's going on with that, because that isn't my decision. It's going to be on the server as a whole. So if I started something and I didn't want to change it, then if everybody else did, then I would have to just kind of deal with it and see what happens with that. And this is kind of like my little wheat farm here. It's pretty bad. I want to find some redstone and maybe make an automated one. And I don't know if you can hear this, but my dog is barking in the background. And I have a little dog. The dog is about 11 pounds. She is a Shih Tzu Toy Poodle Cross. And she's very cute, but she does kind of bark at the door sometimes when people come to the door. So I don't know how much of that you could hear. I, the mic that I have is supposed to kind of cancel out noise, so I don't know if you can actually hear that or not. But overall, that's pretty much all I wanted to say for now. I haven't really picked a spot. Nothing's really jumped out at me, so I might go around and do a little bit more walking on my own to see if something really sticks out for me. And for now, though, I will see you guys next time.